Allah, Ba Hashem, Yahav Shai, Ba Hashem, Lakha, Chodash. Shalom. First of all, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who well in peace and salutation all since Rachim that are lifting up the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai in all truth and sincerity. Of course, keeping their garments clean. All right. Of course, um, keeping their um, selves in line in order. All right. Of course, um, measuring the time diligently in itself. Okay, because we are at the times of the end, and we've seen these prophecies manifest themselves and come to pass. All right, I'm the brother Mafa, and this is the brother Yeshaya. We're from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, the city of Philadelphia. And what we have here is a, another wee lesson just going into this current government shutdown, which has been exceeded uh, 30 days, okay? And it's starting to, of course, hit these people harder and harder. All right, um, you have it where you have FBI employees, government employees are being hit. You know, these go into these uh, the Federal Bureau investigation. All right, this department, okay, they they of course working without pay. It's hitting you. All right, so a lot of these people that trust in Egypt, Egypt is failing. This place is going down, and it's like I said, with the servants of Yahweh by Shimei Ashai. We're laughing at this time, man, because, you know, we, we are nearer than, our salvation is nearer than what we believe, so, you know, it's it just, we rejoicing, you know, and at the same time, we, of course, are trimming and making sure that we keep ourselves steadfast within prayer and begging Yahweh B'ashim Yahweh to have chassad or mercy upon us, because these are very serious time and we don't want to be caught on the other end of the stick, the bad end of the stick, and where we are with the lot of the two-thirds being destroyed and caught in the midst of this, or as these heathens are. We want to be part of the elect, which shall be saved out of this perilous times. All right, so we're just going to get into this week article and bring out some scriptures. All right, so you can be... Khan says, um, Trump shut down further hits FBI morale as some agents can't put food on the table. It says, employees at the FBI and institutions still reeling from the attacks it has endured since the 2016 election are dealing with another blow to morale as the government shutdown enters its second month. It says, FBI special agents and employees who will soon miss their second paychecks since the government shutdown began on December 22nd are scrambling to make ends meet. Oh, yeah, you, you heard it there first. Uh, these people, they already going to lose. The, they are going to lose their second paycheck. They already missed one paycheck. All right. Now they're going to lose a second paycheck. OK, it's already said. And uh, I want you to look into that word uh, morale. Just look that word up for morale real quick. Uh, yeah. So for morale, it says the confidence, right? The enthusiasm, the discipline of a person or a group at a particular time. It says, um. Also, the self-esteem, the spirit, all right? So this is damaging the confidence, which obviously confidence, it goes into, uh, I believe, uh, con, being with and faith, all right? I believe when you go into that breakdown, all right? Which, you know, you have it where the, the, if you ain't part of the elect, you don't have faith, okay? You, 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 of course, will lose it in these times that are, we're, we're in and coming, all right, too, the time when you ain't gonna have no job, you ain't gonna have no security, you ain't gonna have no hedge, all right. If you ain't in Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, it says um, new FBI recruits just starting their careers through their through their training at Quantico, Virginia, have never received a paycheck. 
the FBI SWAT team can't purchase critical gear. Some FBI employees are unable to put food on the table and are relying on food banks that FBI field offices have set up across the country. Yeah, so you have it there where, you know, you have it where, you know, you you, you thought you was the, uh, the top dog. You know, you, you done apply, you done pass all of the psychological tests, the physical requirements. You now you're your, your first month on the job. You ain't even getting a paycheck, okay? And at that, it's an even more humbling factor because you got to go to a food bank just to get some, some food to eat to feed your family, all right? Going to a preset box. This is um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 20, verse 9. It says, There is a sinner that hath good success in evil things, and there is a gain that turneth to loss. Right. So I say there's there's a sinner that have good success in evil, and you, you know, a lot of you people are, are just wicked, okay? You don't, of course, regard... The Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. We know that the Most High is not even in the thoughts of you damn Edomites, all right? You damn Edomites are fucking uh, atheists. And excuse my French, but it is what it is. You know, you, you, you don't regard Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, creator. You know, you just think it's all about do as thou wilt, work, work, work. I'm going to make it to the top. Now you in your heaven, you're not even getting the blessings Okay, in which, you know, you, you know these elite of yous, all right, the Edomites are so-called Caucasians, if you don't know, all right, and they're supposed to be in um, their heaven, okay? You damn low-level Edomites, you have the curses to fall upon yourself, all right? Which, uh, quickly, go into that real quick with the, uh, the Deuteronomy. Okay. This is um, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. It says, In Yahweh thy power would put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Okay. In which you had it where there was uh, various curses that were, were to be put, or they were placed upon the nation of Israel when you read the, the 28th chapter of Deuteronomy. Okay, when you go to uh, the verse, uh, this would be 28 and 15. Uh, of course, for our disobedience, all these curses, they, they shall be um, a sign. All right. Is, is there a token? Okay, of uh, who the actual Israelites are, and that's the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. All right, some of the curses, you know, you, is uh, that curses thou shall be, thou shall be when thou go in, and curses thou shall be when y'all go out. When we go out, you know, so you know we have all these these various um, curses smitten with madness. Now our enemies are starting to get a taste, you know, we dose uh, of these curses, and they don't like it. Kind. Okay. This is um, Haggai chapter 1 verse 6. It says, Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is no, none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Con, uh, like basically in what it said in Deuteronomy 30 and 7, how the curses are going to be turned upon our enemies. Jake has been going through the struggle throughout this whole entire time. Now the Edomites are feeling the same way. Like these uh, certain Edomites, they're not able to feed their family, put food on the table. They're basically putting, uh, putting, making wages to put in bags with holes. They're basically working for free. Yeah. So their wages, they're not even getting wages. Yeah. So all the same curses that were upon us is being put on them now. Uh, uh. And they're not even going to check from the so-called white man, U.S. government. All right, and it, they, a lot of these uh, damn Edomites, they, they go to choose these government jobs based upon the security because when you go into it, most people, you know, uh, when they go into work, they will go into the private sector, but this private sector jobs, they lack job security. You know, you can have it where the corporation can go down. Well, you have to understand, America is a corporation as well, all right, you know. Uh, this is um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 21 verse 4 It says to terrify and do wrong Will waste riches Thus the house of proud men shall be made desolate Kind And you have it where the earth is given on the hand of wicked Which is the so called white man Esau Edom Alright they of course are in their heavens Alright And they do nothing but wrong Okay And of course they waste riches You have it where this whole place uh, Being the earth Okay the earth has way enough resources to sustain the, 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 the inhabitants thereof, all right? 
you have now that you have a, a base man, a man that has no name, a low low vile creature ruling of course the earth. He got people starving, okay? He got he got you damn um essential employees starving, being able to do without all right, y'all gotta go to food banks while you have it where these politicians they're actually still get receiving a paycheck. All right, they're still getting their uh, hundred thousand of dollars. Okay, and you know we're not even gonna note their um, various uh, other side nonprofit organizations where they get their money from out of and such that they create. Kind of, we gonna go back to the article. Kind of. it says we are a motivated, professional, and patriotic lot. As you know, but we do have to make our bills like every other American. It says red, blue, green, or otherwise. Okay, I'm going to skip down. Okay. Read that. An agent. This one? Yeah. Kind of says, an agent whose wife is battling stage 2 breast cancer is worried about being able to financially survive the shutdown and said he was angry at the unnecessary stress this shutdown is putting on my wife who just survived cancer in my nine-year-old son. It says two FBI employees who recently brought their first home in a new city can't afford their mortgage. We contacted our lender and they are refusing to work with us, the FBI employee said. They don't want our hardship letter. They want money, period. Yeah, they want bread. <laughs> that's, that's, that's straight raw. And Donald Trump, he actually put out that uh, suggestion that, um, of course, that... uh. You write a letter to the, to the creditors and such. Because you have to understand, this is a credit-based system, all right? And where, of course, um, you, you of course, are, um, you know, when you, of course, take up a house, you know, you're, you, 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 you finance it in which they expect you, you agree to pay that actual loan, that debt back to them, okay? You have it where you can't, you don't hit double, you don't hit straights, okay? You know, a position of difficulty, you can't pay back that money. These people are looking at you like you're crazy because they're going to kick you out of your house. A lot of people are going to get evicted. They're going to get their homes foreclosed on. You know, understand that there's no bouncing back from this. You know, this economy, you know, is in a bad case, okay? It's a volatile market, okay? It's up and down, okay? It is, it's bound to, to crash, okay? You have it where they 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 actually they don't want to hear your excuses. They want money, all right, or kasap. Yum, all right. Donald Trump is telling you at the same time to write a letter, and of course to use what whatever skills you got, to maybe of course uh, help so that you could pay it off. These people want their bread. They don't want your help, or they already have the other contracts with uh, su such and such management. You know, for the most part. You talking about Donald Trump talking about doing little stuff around these different places, like more so hinting at landscaping or whatever is possible. These people already got their own workers reserved for that. All right. That will break different their own different ordinances that they have. All right. Uh, this is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 31, verse one. It says watching for riches consumeth the flesh and the cure the, uh, thereof dry. Driveth away sleep. Yeah, you see it? It said, so, you know, you have it where these people are right now. They they wait for their check. They haven't been paid. You know, the government shut down since December the 22nd of 2018. We're currently in 2019. Year of uh, Karagma. Okay. This, this of course, it weighs on a person. All right? You have it where people are depressed. Okay? It leads to suicide. Okay? Because these people are... Um, they can't even trust, of course, in receiving wages, all right? And they're actually, a lot of them are actually still working. They're required to come into work. Okay. Uh, read down some more, too. Okay. Back up and then down. Verse 2. Verse 2, Khan. This is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 31, verse 2. It says, Watching care will not let a man slumber as a sore disease breaketh sleep. Yeah, you know, you have it where obviously when you go into disease or disease mean disease, you know, people, of course, they're worried that brings forth anxiety. Thus, you know, that brings forth, you know, disease to a person. All right. Where you have it where people, they 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 losing sleep. They like, what, what you know, what am I going to do tomorrow? What am I going to eat tomorrow? 
is the food bank even going to accommodate me? You have it where these people want loans and stuff. You have certain um, uh, loans that are unaccessible. You have it where farmers, you know, they they can't, uh, of course, uh, apply for these various loans because the government has shut down that certain programs, Department of Agriculture, different financial programs. They're, they're unavailable at this time until the shutdown, the shutdown is, uh, of course, suspended. All right. Until they reopen the government. You have it, Donald Trump and these uh, these uh, Democrats and these um, uh, Republicans. They're just playing with you guys. All right. Because they have their own. Uh, enterprise what they want to set up Which is the new world order ultimately Alright But it, it troubles you Alright If you're watching for riches Alright It causes you where you can't Of course go to sleep You got kids hungry Dad dad When am I gonna get my next Piece of bread When am I gonna get my Udo and noodle Or my um My pop tart Or cinnamon coast trunch And all that Honeycombs A lot of y'all been dealing with uh, watching cable and stuff. Y'all getting y'all cable shut off. Y'all gonna hit the streets. Okay. Want me to keep reading down? Um, okay, I'm gonna go to the next one. You can go to the next one. Okay. This is um, First Timothy chapter six verse ten. It says, "For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows." Okay. Yeah, you have it. Where um, you know, people actually love money. A lot of these government workers, they love money. They were, you know, complacent. They got these jobs. They were like, man, you know, I'm, I'm, I made it. I'm good. I got a 401k. You know, I'm investing in all these mutual funds. I got a great salary. Look at this new house I bought. You have it where that love of money, all right, has failed you, okay? okay. And where now, you know, you're, you're sitting there. Not even knowing what your future is for your family. Okay, I got a quick precept. This is um Luke chapter twelve verse sixteen. It says, "And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought brought forth plentifully, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits?" And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. It says, but the Most High said unto him, thou fool, this night thy, thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these people are trusting they were like the brother was just saying they were in a place of complacency where they were comfortable They had their 401k. They were making good money, but you know what I'm saying? You can't you don't know what the most high is gonna bring upon you He's, He brought this uh, government shutdown upon you. So to all these people it, it was unexpected, you mm -hmm. know in their in their comfort in their complacency the most high brought this upon them uh, uh. Yeah, They losing everything right you know, in a, in a moment, easily. Look, and it's a month. You know, weeks, a matter of weeks, you losing everything. All right? This is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 15. It says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. Yeah, uh, Egypt is uh, talking about America, all right? It's spiritually Sodom in Egypt, as you read in the book of Revelation, all right? So you have it where it's actually prophecy that there ain't going to be no work here in this place. And it's happening right here before your eyes, okay? It says, which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. Yeah, so you have way the head, the tail, okay? The top, the bottom, all right? Then they aren't going to have, uh, you know, any work. So, it's hitting everybody, okay? And how about Shemi Ashai warned you, okay? okay? This is um Revelation chapter 18, verse 22. It says, And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. Con, so uh, Egypt, spiritual Egypt, uh, America, is, there's no work for, for Americans to do. It says the sound of a millstone. 
a millstone is basically made to grind wheat together so there's no work for uh for these babylonians and it says also the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers shall be no more heard con because um these people are not rejoicing anymore these people are in 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 bitterness living in bitterness yeah mourning and shit con in know? a state of confusion con conf That's yeah con <laughs> Yeah, these people, these people are in a in a rut, you know. So, you know, it's amazing to see you know biblical prophecy being fulfilled, you know. And uh, you know, like we like we go, let me see, I can check the time. And yeah, we right on time, you know. Twenty minutes in, you know. So, you know, we we we're just gonna keep looking at these prophecies, keep unfolding themselves. You know, this place is going down. It's only gonna get worse. All right. As you can see, it says that the shutdown, you can click the article real quick. I'll just read the headline. It says that, uh, yeah, the, sh the Trump shutdown further hits FBI morale as some agents kind of put food on the table. What's that going to lead towards? It's going to lead towards insurrection. These people are going to want these heads of these uh, governments. These They're going to want these sen senators. They're going to want these House representatives. All right, they're gonna want your 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 mayors eventually. They're gonna want your state officials. They're gonna want everybody, okay? That ain't providing for them, as is written in the scripture: "The love of many shall wax cold." Okay, so you know you gotta, of course, get right with Yahweh Shimei Shai. If you were Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, and American, or you gonna get destroyed out here. So with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh, Bahashem, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bahashem, Raha, Raha, Kodash, Kodash, and double honor to those apostles that great millstone who well, and peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.